Yeah, hi there. Uh, these comments are for Maki Misuno. This is Michael Buckoff from BetterTuffleScores.com. I'm responding to the uh, comment you sent me at Facebook. You say, I just saw some videos that you have posted. It was very useful. I know this may seem rude, but I was just wondering how to get better grades for writing and reading sections. I love speaking and listening, so it's never been a problem. But those two sections always bring my total scores down. I'm very sure you're a busy man, but if you have time to reply, it would be great. I've taken the test three times already. My last shot is on the 26th of March. Okay, probably there's not a lot you can do right now, really, in nine days to do anything, I think, to make a huge difference on your TOEFL, but I can give you some suggestions about how to get better on the reading and the writing areas. First of all, in the reading, there's, there's basically three things you have to do. Number one, you have to have good college level vocabulary, so you need a good vocabulary list. At BetterTOEFLScores.com, I do have a list of 1,700 TOEFL words. I also have some lessons to help you learn those words. Uh, you, you feel free to take those lessons if you want. Number two, now I cannot help you with this, but the second thing you need to do is, in addition to studying vocabulary, you need to read approximately 45 minutes every day for several months, maybe even six months to a year read magazines, newspapers, textbooks, try to read college level type materials. Do that over time, your reading proficiency also gets better. Uh, number three, I can help you with number three. Number three is you need to make sure you understand how to answer the reading questions on the TOEFL IBT. For example, some questions are what's called charts and sch schematic tables. They'll ask you to organize the information into a chart. Uh, other types of questions are called rhetorical questions. For example, why does the writer include this particular word in the passage? Uh, other questions are more main idea. Still others are detail. You want to make sure you understand how to identify the different kinds of TOEFL IBT question types. And you also need to know the strategies for answering these kinds of questions. So it's a combination, Maki, I think, of getting good vocabulary, learning good vocabulary, extensive reading over an extended period of time, and having the IBT test taking strategies for the reading section of the test. If you do these three things, if you have knowledge in these three areas, you definitely can get better in your reading. Unfortunately, reading takes time. And it's not something that you can do in just nine days. I'm looking at my uh, my computer at the bottom right says uh, March 17. You're taking the test on the 26th. So, okay, now let's talk about writing. Writing, there are a number of things that you have to do, I think. You need to understand how to organize, I think, the TOEFL IBT uh, independent and integrated writing tasks. So with the independent task, I mean, you need a basic organization strategy how to answer those questions. With the integrated, you have to have really good listening, really good reading skills, and you need, you need to have good note-taking skills, in which case you take notes in the main points of the reading, you take notes in the main points of the listening, and then during the integrated writing task, you need to combine the information from the two sources. I'll give you one general tip right now, is typically, the information in the listening passage, it will disagree with the information in the reading passage. You want to make sure you can express that relationship. So what do you do? I can actually help you a lot in this area. Uh, if you subscribe to my seven step system to pass a TOEFL test, uh, you can post writing uh, responses directly on the password protected pages of your lessons. What I do is, kind of what I'm doing now, is I'll kind of read your paper, I'll discuss the strengths and weaknesses of the paper, I'll give you a score according to the IBT rubrics that they use to score it, and I'll give you some additional suggestions on what you can do next time to become better. So I am busy. In fact, uh, I have to read some essays right now from my website, so I better let you go. I gotta get back to work, but good luck to you, and hopefully, 
we have a saying in American culture that uh, hopefully this last time is your best performance on the test. So I wish you good luck. Bye-bye, Mikey.